morning children how are you all welcome back to the second session of the chapter 2 mathematics shapes and angles children keep your geometry box along with you while watching this video it is okay if you do not have you can see the pictures of these instruments in the video before proceeding further let us revise what we did in the previous session you had learned what are polygons names of different sided polygons and what is a regular polygon polygons are closed figures made of straight lines the names of different sided polygons are three sided polygon is called a triangle four sided polygon is called a quadrilateral five sided polygon is called a pentagon six sided polygon is called a hexagon seven sided polygon is called a heptagon eight sided polygon is called an octagon nine sided polygon is called a nonagon and ten sided polygon is called a decagon what is a regular polygon a polygon is regular when all angles are equal and all sides are equal now what is an angle an angle is a figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point the common end point is called a vertex an angle can be a small angle a big angle or a bigger angle now what is a ray a ray is a line with a single end point that extends infinitely in one direction lastly you had learned the angle of the polygon will change if you change the shape of the polygon now let us proceed further angle tester what is an angle tester if you want to make two angles with the same measure what will you do you have an angle tester in your geometry box it is called a divider it is v shaped instrument and has pointers on both ends of the v it is used to measure and compare lengths with the help of the divider we can make two angles with the same measure you can see a picture of divider here let us now see how we can make two angles with the same measure using a divider draw an angle using a ruler now with the help of the divider measure the angle and make another angle with the same measure with a divider we can make only equal angles we cannot measure the angle using a divider now you know what is an angle tester do you know you can make an angle tester yourself at home cut two strips from a cardboard sheet fix them with a drawing pin so that both the strips can move around easily it will look somewhat like the figure shown here with the angle tester you made you can test an angle let us see how suppose 
you want to test the angle of your mathematics book open your angle tester and keep it at any end of the book you will see that your tester opens like the letter l this is a right angle when a tester opens like the letter l when kept at the corner of any object we say it is a right angle so any object which is of a square or a rectangular shape will have right angles on all four vertices with the help of the tester you made you can test the angles of the objects around you try measuring some angles see the three pictures given below each picture is marked with an angle find out what angles they are in the ice cream cone the angle shown is smaller than l shape so it is a small angle in the second picture the angle marked looks bigger than l shape so we can say it is a bigger angle in the last picture we can see the l shape clearly l shape means right angle so it is a right angle with an angle tester we can say whether the angle is a right angle more than a right angle or less than a right angle let us do an activity here you can see a house where four angles are marked 1 Two, three, and four. Try and find out what angles they are: a right angle, or smaller than a right angle, or bigger than a right angle. Angle one is of L shape, so it is a right angle. Angle two is bigger than L shape. so we can say it is bigger than a right angle angle 3 is also bigger than l shape so it is also bigger than a right angle angle 4 is smaller than l shape so it is smaller than a right angle do you know there are angles in the letters of your name see the word lion i have marked the angles in these four letters find the number of different angles in the word lion now write your name as shown above that is using only straight lines and try to find out the number of right angles the number of angles more than a right angle and number of angles less than a right angle in your name changing shapes make a pentagon that is a five sided polygon using five match sticks or ice cream sticks now push any side of the shape downwards with the tip of your finger what do you think will happen yes the shape of the pentagon will change and the angle of the pentagon will also change when pushed down by the finger 
but do you think the same thing will happen in a triangle no a triangle has only three sides you cannot change the shape easily so the angle does not change as in other shapes like square hexagon pentagon etc make a triangle with three matchsticks and see the result by yourself today we have learned an instrument called divider which is also known as angle tester is used to see whether two angles are of same size or not you also learned l shaped corners of any object is called a right angle lastly we learned if the shape of a figure is changed then the angle of that figure also changes